Mr. Speaker, I rise to provide brief support on this motion to borrow um, the sum of funds for, for a water project. And Mr. Speaker, I just want to draw to the attention of um, members that indeed water project is a water project like this is critical. Um, I do not think that we have attained 100% coverage in terms of water access to the entire population in spite of all what has happened in terms of development. And for a government at this time to continue to invest in the water sector is critical. Also, I need to draw to the attention of our members that the Passions Water Project that was implemented under the last administration are pipeline projects since 2016 at the St. Lucia Social Development Fund. In fact, those projects are pulled out and they are implemented. But we have a pipeline of water projects because under the Basic Needs Trust Fund, under the BNTA program, the water sector is a critical sector. In fact, the Caribbean Development Bank has agreed to remove other sectors under the BNTF program. So they no longer implement health projects, they move away from markets, and they have retained water and sanitation, access and drainage projects, education, is three main sectors, and now they start looking at the issue of livelihoods. So um, over the years, recognizing that the, um, the grant agreement with the basic needs transfer, transfer trust fund from one cycle to the next is limited. You get about 10 million, but we always have a pipeline of projects, of water projects, and this project was pulled out, it was implemented within the last administration, but these projects are there, and there are many more projects like this. I also want to inform members, Mr. Speaker, that our government, the government of, this, of, of, of the St. Lucia Labour Party, We've not just sat by and implement water project. There's been an important initiative targeting annoyances to our population. And that is why we have looked at, we have had, um, the Prime Minister allowed me to have a conversation with OASCO on the very thing that the member for, for Social spoke about. And I'm happy to just mention, um, it will be formalized, that OASCO has agreed to look at the ease of allowing persons to have access to water, especially persons who are living on family estate and do not and cannot come up with the land papers. These persons in the past, it has been a difficult thing for them to get water connection, but Wasco has agreed that with a simple affidavit, persons on family estate will get water connection with a simple disclaimer. That being said, Wasco has agreed to also provide 24 free connections for poor persons every year and they will meet part of the tariff. This was negotiated. So the issue of the issue of, of, of the water sector and responding to vulnerable population. We're not just establishing the, the, um, um, the network. And I can tell you, the St. Lucia Social Development Fund has invested millions of dollars in the water sector millions of dollars. In fact, I can tell you that water from Belvidere all the way to, to, to Bouton, it was the St. Lucia Social Development Fund that established that water project. And to establish a water system at the Bouton Gap to serve Bouton, and now we will bring water into Colombet. These projects were implemented. So our investment in the water sector, and I can tell you, when there was a change of administration, I, was personally responsible for taking, working with the then parliamentary representative to take water from Hill 20 to bring all the way down into the Dofe area because persons there were using water from tanks. So the, 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 the participation of the, the, this government in establishing the St. Lucia Social Development Fund as a vehicle towards a development in, for vulnerable people has demonstrated that in so many ways that sometimes we forget to celebrate the policies of the Labour Party. The establishment of the James Belgrave Fund, the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the National Conservation Authority, and so many pro-poor entities is so powerful and it does well for poor people. And finally, Mr. Speaker, I just want to, you know, Make, the, make this point that um, 
What is so critical, and we, we're going to continue, and I know that the AG office through the Prime Minister is going to continue the conversation with, with, with WASCO. And like you rightly said, there are persons who are unable sometimes to pay the, 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 the water bill. And it is difficult. But I've said to WASCO that it is so important that when there's a newborn in a home, a newborn baby, and I can tell you what it is to have a newborn baby in the home. <laughs> I have a newborn, I'm a, I'm a grandpa. You understand? When you have a newborn baby in, in, in the home, hygiene is so critical. You understand? Yes, yeah, Benoit Josima. You understand? Hygiene is so important. And when a young mother is unable to pay the bill, you need to ask yourself, what heart do you have to stay, to, to disconnect a home where there's a newborn baby? When there's a senior person, you understand, unable to pay the bill, but you see the demands, the need, you know, it is hard wrenching. And of course, it is something as a, as a government that we are looking at. And that is why funds are made available to the $100,000 per quarter can go a long way in ensuring 100,000, 400 for the year from our prime minister can ensure that a number of persons in Shrozel, you can avoid them being disconnected or you can assist them in having water connection. You know, you know that, that can be done because the prime minister I'm sure would have said in this letter that you can use part of it to do some soft, some soft things, some social interventions. And I know that you are socially minded. So the people of Shrozel certainly on the advice of this parliament can go to the constituency office in Shrozel and ensure that they do not get disconnected. Yes? So, Mr. Speaker, so Mr. Uh, so, Mr. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, we really want to applaud the government for investing in the water sector. This is not the end of it. We'll continue to ensure this government that every St. Lucian have access to pipe-borne water because it's a right, it's a basic need, and this is not a luxurious good. It's a basic need and they need it. Thank you very much.